guys let me show you how to make sweet and sour chicken okay here I've got two chicken breasts over here let's cut these up so for the sweet and sour chicken I'm going to be cutting cubes up so you don't need to like slice it to make it too thin you just need some cubes chicken cube bite hey guys you can see uh, give these a quick rinse in the water then I'll show you guys how to marinate them okay guys Let's marinate our chicken pieces for the sweet and sour chicken. Okay, first I'm gonna add in uh, one tablespoon of crushed garlic. I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of salt. We'll sprinkle some white pepper all around. I'm gonna add in one half a tablespoon of sugar. Add in uh, one little teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. Drizzle some oyster sauce all around. We drizzle some soy sauce. A little bit of Chinese rice wine. Drizzle some sesame oil. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Crack in one egg. Go. Okay, now just uh, use your hands or just use a tablespoon and just mix up all the ingredients up with the chicken pieces. Okay, now you can see uh, there's a lot of liquid as you can see. Now we're going to add in a good amount of cornstarch. So it depends on how much liquid you have, but first I'm going to add in. Um, the uh, heaped uh, teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, just give this a mix. The cornstarch will help uh, the sauce stick onto the, the chicken breast so that you'll marinate better. And we're also using the cornstarch to form a batter so that when we when we coat the chicken. Uh, with the flour it will stick better and you'll create a nice uh, crispy coating before we deep fry the chicken. Okay, I added in uh, 3 te teaspoons and yeah it looks like it's it thickened up the sauce as you can see. This is the consistency I'm looking at. If your sauce is too runny uh, when you coat it on the flour don't stick nicely so you need like kind of like a sticky kind of batter that's sticking on to the chicken breast pieces okay so you just give that a good mix um, put this in the fridge let it marinate for one to two hours then we'll make our sweet and sour chicken guys okay guys let's prepare some ingredients for our sweet and sour chicken so over here I've got a yellow red and small green bell pepper and also one uh, red onion here. I also got some canned uh, pineapple and yeah, the ginger and garlic I'm using store brought crushed, uh, crushed uh, garlic. So you can also cut some of that up as well. Okay, for our, uh, our peppers, cut it into presentable sizes here. Cut our onions as well. Just like that. We don't want it to be strips, so just little pieces. Okay, hey guys, it's my ingredients for the sweet and sour chicken. 
Hey guys, let's make our sweet and sour chicken. You can see here's my marinade. The chicken breast has marinated for about two hours. Let's coat them up first with the flour. Okay, first add in some flour. I'm using some bread flour over here. You can use all-purpose flour, but I'm just trying it out with some bread flour. So put a good amount. Then we're gonna add in one heap teaspoon of cornstarch. I just got to get a whisk, just whisk this up. Okay, just mix up your chicken breast up a bit. Let get that little batter coating on it. Now you just gotta drop a few pieces into the flour. Okay, just like that. I'm just gonna do this guys with your chopsticks. Mix it the other side, this side, and then you can see all your, all your chicken pieces is coated nicely with the flour. So you're just gonna get a plate and then we'll place this on the plate and then rest and then we'll complete all the other pieces before we deep fry them. Okay guys, this is my last batch. Let's do this. This is this way, the other way. It's so nice to do it with chopsticks. So it won't stick onto your hands. Okay guys, it's all coated. Now we can deep fry them. Nice. First coat them all and then we deep fry the chicken pieces. Hey guys, let's fry our chicken breast pieces here for the sweet and sour pork. So I'm first going to fry these for about like one minute just to form a crust. And then I'm going to lift them all back out and then we will prepare the sweet and sour sauce. And then once the sauce is ready, we will ref we'll give it the second refry and then we'll dump it in to combine and create the sweet and sour chicken, guys. So yeah, let's just fry these for a few minutes. Okay, just one minute, guys, is enough. So put them in the tray and uh, I'm gonna fry the rest. Let's make the sweet and sour sauce. Okay guys, let's make our sweet and sour sauce. Okay, first I'm gonna add in one cup of water. This is just half a cup. Okay, one cup of water. I'm gonna add in half a cup of white vinegar. Give it a quick sprinkle of salt. If you like it spicy, just add a little teaspoon of uh, chili sauce. If you don't like it spicy, then don't add no chili sauce. Okay, next we add in half a cup of sugar. And we add in half a cup of tomato sauce. This is a good mix. Once it boils up, we will add in a cornstarch slurry. Okay, the sauce is bubbling up here. I've got one teaspoon of cornstarch mixed into water. Let's add it in slowly while mixing the sauce. If you don't keep on mixing and you add the cornstarch slurry, it will form bumps in the sauce, so you must keep on mixing. consistency you like. Okay, let's add it to a bowl. Okay guys, let's refry our chicken on high heat. Okay, while that is frying, let's prepare our ingredients. Okay, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil. Dump in our veggies. So here I've got some canned uh, pineapple. You can use fresh ones as well. Give it a big stir fry. Dump in our chicken. Put the chicken. 
And this will support you now two times solid four. And it's still five. I'm tossing until the sauce is a bit dry and then you can switch off the flame. Let it coat each piece of chicken nicely. Wow, look at that. Delicious sweet and sour chicken. Check that out. Wow, beautiful sweet and sour chicken. Hope you guys give this recipe and try. Let me know how it went. Let's have a taste test. Hey guys, I made sweet and sour chicken today. Check at that. Wow, beautiful. Bell peppers, pineapple, red onion. Wow, let's give this a taste. Let's check it out. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, wow, it's so nice and crispy and tasty with that sweet and sour sauce. Let's give this recipe a try guys and let me know how it went absolutely delicious combine it with a bell pepper here mm. thanks guys for watching